Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another couple of champions. In this video, I have two champions that I'm going to take up, and I will allow you an opportunity to guess what two champions. Now, one of them you will probably be able to guess. It is a champion that I recently acquired, so that is your hint. But the second one is a bit of an odd one. I've talked about this champion before, and I've said that this champion is pretty good. I don't tend to use this champion, mainly because they're not ranked up. But ranking them up, you might see them in Battlegrounds. You may see me use them a little bit more. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Kate Bishop. So that's the one that I was telling you was a recent acquisition. I just grabbed her from the arena. So, of course, I'm going to take her up. Now... I don't actually know a whole lot about Kate Bishop. I didn't even know who she was until someone mentioned, you know, the Hawkeye series, which I did not watch. And I did see, I think, a little bit of the uh, first episode. So I saw her. And so now I understood a little bit more about who she was. But as far as in this game goes... She has a couple of things that caught my eye. One of the things that she has is this evade mechanic. I like it. It reminds me of Elsa Bloodstones. I have gone for the parry and evaded and all that good stuff. I like that. Okay. Um, it looks like it does go on cooldown. I will have to do a, a deep dive into her so I could learn a little bit more. Um, but that was one. The other, I saw the damage that her frostbite, not frostbite, cold snap does. It looks like her cold snap does more than Iceman's cold snap. Although he does have frostbites and, and all of that. Um, as well, but it looks like her cold snap is devastating and lasts a good long while. I don't know if it lasts as long as Iceman's or how that compares, but I do know that it is some crazy damage and there are not too many, uh, champions that I know that are immune to it. Uh, there are some champions, I believe that can shrug it off. I think Kingpin can shrug it off. Uh, maybe Mole Man can shrug it off, but I think uh, Sabretooth is immune to it. And look at this. I, I got this far, and I'm like, oh, that's right. I'm short T5 basic. So I had to go into the stores and get some T5 basic. I had plenty of glory, but I also have... Um, battleground tokens and the battleground store also has some but i don't think i needed them uh at least for this one i think i had to dip into that for the next one that i did and if you're wondering why my goal looks low it's because i keep on ranking champions up every single level up and i'm doing like one and two at a time okay so that takes up a good amount of gold all right, yeah, so that was enough uh, for me to rank her up to uh, three. So those were the two features that I liked about her. Of course, I liked that perfect shot mechanic where I could slow her down and uh, get that perfect shot off. Um, that was, was really nice. I always liked champions that used the bow and arrow from when I was a kid watching... Uh, what was his name? Uh, Errol Flynn, was that his name? Um, who played uh, Robin Hood 
way back in the day, I used to play Robin Hood in my backyard in the city. I would go up to our tree. We had a tree in the backyard and I would take off a branch and I would tie a string. I'd actually cut, you know, a notch into either end, tie a knot, put it into this um, no um, notch and bend it and make a bow and make arrows. I had the branches for those arrows. Fun fact, those same branches were used by my grandmother to create switches when we got switched on our legs. But anyway, so I always loved the whole bow and arrow. When I play other games, I love it. So Hawkeye, I always liked Hawkeye. They, you know, did some revamping of him, but I liked him even before. And I liked him afterwards. But Kate Bishop seems to be the Hawkeye we should have had. She seems to be what Hawkeye should be. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to awaken her. You can see what her awakened ability does there. Um, I don't know if she needs it or not. But I'm probably going to awaken her. All right. So that was the first one. The last one is going to be long shot. So why I chose long shot, uh, at least at this point in time, honestly, I'm about to show you. That's why. Look at the time that I have left on that mystic T5 class catalyst. And I was determined not to let that expire on me. I have not let any of those expire. And I wasn't going to start now. And I went through all of my mystics, you can see there. And I didn't really have anyone that I was burning to take up. Had I pulled a juggernaut, he would have been um, ranked up and used up that T5 class catalyst. Didn't have a juggernaut. Now, I talked a little bit about Longshot. Longshot, if he's going up against somebody that has a lot of buffs, he is crazy good. If they are not incinerate immune and they have a lot of buffs, he's going to destroy them. Even if they don't have a lot of buffs, he still has a really good uh, damage output. But it's insane when uh, he goes against buff heavy champions. Now, when he first came into the contest, uh, we tested him on, um, I think, was it Act 4? Something like that. Uh, against that Venom boss. And it was the Venom boss that you can get to. Um, the way they had it set up, you could go all the way around and fight all the fights and everything. Or you could go directly to the boss. If you went directly to the boss, he had all of the buffs. And of course, Venom gets buffs on his own as well. We went in there, built up to a special two, and destroyed him. I mean, destroyed him so badly that we went back to Kabam and was like, are you sure this is how it's supposed to be? Because it looked like a bug. That's how much damage he did. He still does that damage. They did not, you know, tweak him, tune him downward, anything like that. He's still capable of doing that damage. Now, I don't really use him a lot. I'm not the biggest fan of using him on uh, offense, which is why I hadn't ranked him up. However, when you are in Battlegrounds and you're facing this guy, he's going to make you nervous. When I have to fight him, I'm usually trying to bait out his special ones. I am absolutely scared of his special two. Because even if you are not buff heavy, if you get buffs during the fight, you know, like the... Um, 
dexterity, you get that uh, precision buff or whatever, it's going to hurt. If you are not incinerate immune and you've been getting buffs in that fight and he hits you with that special too, he don't even have to hit you. It is ugly. I have died and he didn't even hit me. It is ugly. So I will most likely add him to my deck at some point in time to scare people. Now, of course, Torch can, uh, you know, take him out pretty easily. Um, but if Torch is banned, not going to be a fun time. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Just two for this particular uh, video. Take care. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these two uh, rank ups. Take care and you all have a blessed day.